Welcome! In this video, we're diving into an essential concept in AWS networking. VPC peering. If you've ever needed two virtual private clouds, or VPCs, to communicate securely and directly, VPC. Peering is the answer. Think of it as creating a private link between two cloud-based data centers, allowing seamless communication. Whether you're connecting resources within the same AWS account or across multiple accounts and regions, VPC peering offers a simple yet powerful solution. Let's explore how it works and why it's so useful. Imagine you have two virtual data centers in the cloud, known as VPCs. VPC peering is like creating a private virtual cable between them, allowing them to communicate directly and securely. Think of it as a leased line or fiber connection, but virtual and within AWS. VPC peering enables private communication between your VPCs using AWS's own network. It ensures a secure and direct connection without the need for public IPs or gateways. Here's a scenario. If you already have two VPCs connected and you want to add another, you can simply create an additional peering connection. Each pair of VPCs needs its own direct link since peering isn't transitive. One important limitation to remember, VPC traffic isn't transitive. This means traffic from one VPC can't pass through another to reach a third. If you need VPC A to communicate with VPC C, you'll need a direct peering connection between them. Let's look into how to establish VPC peering. In the first step, a peering request is sent. Then in the second step, the request is accepted. In the third and final step, modify the route table of the subnet to allow peering connection in which you have the launched EC2 instances. And don't forget, security groups must allow inbound ICMP for testing, like pinging, and routing tables in the subnets with EC2 instances must use the new peering connection. In other words, if you are testing using ping from the EC2 instance in one VPC to another VPC, make sure you have modified the security group settings to allow inbound connection for ICMP to the other VPC CIDR and vice versa. Finally, let's cover some key features. It provides private IP connectivity between VPCs using AWS's secure network. Peering can work across different AWS regions, which is called inter-region VPC peering. The CIDR ranges of the two VPCs must not overlap. It's not transitive, so you'll need individual connections for each pair of VPCs. You'll need to update route tables in the subnets for connectivity. You can connect VPCs across AWS accounts and even reference security groups in the peered VPCs. Pretty flexible, isn't it?